Hello, I'm Mark Stedman from Podient, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a podcast episode in Apple's GarageBand. Now, GarageBand used to be quite good for podcasts, but that's about 10 years ago. Uh, you can still use the app, and it's a great starting option if you've got a Mac and maybe you don't have a lot of money or you've spent your budget on a microphone, which is a good plan. If you've got GarageBand and you don't necessarily want to go to Audacity or a, another app or, of course, something paid, then you can absolutely get a basic episode made in GarageBand. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So we start, um, oddly enough, by opening GarageBand. And I'm going to start a blank project. I want to make sure that this microphone is selected here. And we're not covering recording because I think that's a separate thing. And often the way you record a podcast episode might be in a different environment, especially if you're working with someone over Skype. You're not necessarily going to be recording everything in the same app that you edit with. So that is a, a separate topic. But let's assume that you've got some audio files and you want to start putting them together. Um, having this microphone is the uh, the simplest way to get started. So I'll create our project. So the first thing I need to do now, I only need to do this once, is to set GarageBand up for podcasting. So if I go to the GarageBand menu, menu and preferences and then go over to advanced, this option here, I want to deselect because what that's going to do is that's going to override any of our volume settings, which if you're making music is mostly that's the kind of thing you want to do, especially for a hobby project. But for what we want to do to create audio that conforms to the loudness standards that the podcast industry has as a, a basic rule, then we'll take care of the volume stuff. We don't need GarageBand to bring in uh, its opinions. So we'll deselect that option and then I can just close. Now I've got a bunch of audio files ready to go. So I'm going to start by dragging in my intro and drag it to the first uh, track here. And I'm also going to drag in my outro. And then we've got two sides of a conversation. I drag them to the next track. That's going to create two tracks for me. Now, this person and this person are the same, but I like to keep the conversation separate from the intro and outro, which may often be the case. You might want to, it might be that the environment that you recorded your conversation in is different. And so you might want to treat the audio differently. But for now, just keeping things simple, that's what I want to do. And then finally, we're going to bring in some music. So drag that in here. And now I'm going to roughly align everything. So I'm just using my mouse wheel, uh, my uh, my finger on my magic mouse to scroll left and right. And I'm using the control and command keys to zoom in to the various sections that I need to. So obviously we want to put the outro there. About there. And that looks about right there. Now, what I do want to do is move, scooch this arm forward as, uh, with everything else. So I'm going to hit Command A to select all. And then with the Shift key pressed, I'm going to click this music track so that everything except for the music is selected. And I'm going to put it there just as the, the music sort of getting into a crescendo. Now, what I want to happen is I want the music to fade as my speech is coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the A key and this gets us into automation mode. Now here, I just click on the track. You see this line here. Now, before I start, what I want to do is adjust this volume because we're about to create some volume automation. So what I want to do first is start us off at a base volume of minus three decibels. And as we do that, You'll have possibly seen that line jump down a little bit to indicate that we've actually lowered the volume a little bit here. It's just a good rule of thumb that your music should be about three decibels quieter than your speech. So 
I'm going to zoom in here so we can really easily see what we want to do. And I'm just going to click where I want to create uh, a point of automation. And then I'm going to click again to create another one. And then as I drag down, you see we create this line that will then fade the music out as the speech comes in. Now, if I scooch on and press A again, I want to, I think, be done with the music around here so we can cut all of this. We don't need any of this. So I'm going to press Command and T. That's going to split the track into two. It's already selected the rightmost portion, so I can just hit Delete. And then we want to do a nice graceful fade. So A again to take us back into automation. And let's take the fade from about there. And then just click there, drag all the way down, and then to about there. You want to try and get it a little bit to the left, because if you do it there, eagle-eared listeners will hear a bit of a cutoff because the volume is still being turned down, but you've actually cut off a little bit of the audio. So we want to do it about there. So it's a nice, graceful fade. I will press A again. And then we can see that that conversation looks good. I didn't have to align these tracks, but of course, if I needed to, I can just scooch them along like that. Uh, and Garage Band is quite smart. It knows that, oh, they should probably, those two should probably align. And I think we can move that just a tad there. Now, I, I happen to know that there is a little mistake here. So I'm going to hit again, Command and T. And I'm just dragging clicking and dragging from the left hand side and it's just trimming this clip here. Now I'm going to drag it and just connect it up there. And we've got a big pause here which we can probably get rid of so I'll take that chunk, I'll take that chunk, delete and then drag. And that is our episode, nice and short. So now what we want to do is Put some very basic effects in place. Really, we're not changing the nature of the audio. We're just going to smooth out any of the rough dynamic edges. So if we have someone who's speaking quite quietly and someone else who's speaking quite loud, we can smooth those out a bit, which is ideal for podcast listening because we never know how people are going to consume podcasts. Uh, there's, there's all sorts of ways that people listen and often not in hermetically sealed environments. So we, we want to make sure that our audio really punches through. So with that, I'm going to go to the master tab. Now I got here. It was already open for me, but I can, if I get rid of the mixer, um, it's brought up in this, this third button along here in the toolbar. Now if I go to master, this allows me to make changes to the master track, which is the final audio that the listener will hear. So first off, we're not going to do any EQ, so we'll just, we'll just knock that off. And now we are going to use the compressor. Now, compression is a bit of an art, uh, more than a science to a degree, and it takes, can take a bit of experience to get used to. And we have got articles online at podiant.co slash learn to give you a bit more information about how audio compression works or dynamic compression. This is not the same thing as file compression, making a file smaller. This is about taking the dynamic range and squashing it a little bit so that the loud parts aren't quite so loud and that the quiet parts are raised up a little bit to meet the loud parts. Uh, and so we're going to set a threshold of minus 16. We're going to set a ratio here of 3 to 1. And then we'll leave the other settings as they are. And then we're going to apply a limiter. So this is the bit that's going to reduce the volume of, uh, a little bit to minus 3 dB, which is roughly speaking, as long as everything is nice and loud and we haven't got lots of very quiet parts, Minus 3 dB is just about where you want to get your audio volume. So I'll leave the gain as it is for now. So the gain is how much we want to up the volume. 
and then this here we're going to set a ceiling of minus 3 dB. So however much we turn up the volume if we need to, it's never going to go above minus 3 dB. And GarageBand is going to work quite hard to make that work because it is essentially a hobby tool and so Apple want to make your life easy. So we don't really want to fight the system too much. Now with that set, I can go up to the share menu and we can export our quote unquote song to disk. Now I've already got MP3 selected here and I've gone straight for 64 kilobits because this is mainly speech. So it's going to create a nice small file. Most professional podcasters will tell you 64 kilobits uh, per second is really all you need for most speech-based podcasts. It's mono because you don't, unless you're creating an immersive audio drama, you probably don't need it to be in stereo. In fact, in almost all cases, not in every case, but in almost all cases, you want it in mono because smart speakers are mono, car stereos, yes, they are in stereo. But if you think about who sits next to which speaker, it, it's weird to give one person an advantage uh, over the other. Uh, and then people who are listening to podcasts in bed, they might just listen with one earbud in. So it's important that we give both channels the same audio. And so 64 kilobits a second creates a mono file that will be decent quality for, for what we need. And we'll call this episode one. So that is a simple whistle-stop tour of creating a podcast episode in GarageBand. I hope you can see that it's it's pretty easy. It might vary. Your mileage may vary depending on the quality of your audio, but I hope that this just gets you started so you start to understand the basics and just some of the little gotchas that you need to watch out for. There's loads more information, including other videos on other topics, but also other editing software that you'll find at podiant.co slash learn. And while you're there, why not take advantage of our 14 day free trial? If you want to host a podcast, if you're getting started or you're already podcasting and you're thinking of up in your game or you just want to move hosts, then give us a go podiant.co and uh, check out our 14 day free trial. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.